Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Today's story is an African-American alphabet. D is for drinking gourd. Written by Nancy I. Sanders and illustrated by E. B. Lewis. D is for drinking gourd. It's about the achievements and the contributions of African-Americans throughout the centuries. It highlights events such as the Underground Railroad, people such as Malcolm X and Sojourner Truth and Frederick Douglass, it also talks a little bit about voting and even ancient kingdoms in Egypt. Throughout the story, there will be definitions that pop up on several different pages that go a little bit more in depth into a few of the words that we're going to be reading today. On each page, there's an excerpt that goes a little deeper into each event and person that we're going to read about today. So throughout the story, you can pause and read a little bit more about the event, the people, or those groups that are talked about in the story. But don't worry if you don't get an opportunity to pause. We'll also be having those excerpts on our Read Aloud with Mr. Jason's Instagram page. So you can go to those stories and check them out there. So join me as we dive deep into black history with D is for Drinking Gourd, written by Nancy I. Sanders in Read Alouds with Mr. Jason. An African-American alphabet, D is for Drinking Gourd. Written by Nancy I. Sanders, illustrated by E. B. Lewis. Let our people go, they cried, in speeches or with pen in hand. A is for abolitionists who were willing to take a stand. B is for buffalo soldiers riding across the plains. Bold and brave, they protected the West, the settlers, the forts, and the trains. Sweet stained hats and spurs that jingled, rodeos with daredevil clowns. C is for the cowboys and the cattle drives to railroad towns. D is for drinking gourd and the North Star that led through the night from station to station on the Underground Railroad, escaping on a dangerous flight. E is for emancipation, a big word that means to be free. When people heard the proclamation, it was a day of jubilee. F is for the founding fathers in the days of the Constitution. They helped win the war from Britain rule in the American Revolution. Thousands moved from the South to the North. That's why G is for great migration. Families went to the cities looking for jobs and better education. Poetry, paintings, Photography, the stage. Hit songs at the top of the chart. H is for the Harlem Renaissance, a great birth of culture and art. I is for inventions, new gadgets for people to use. Inventors have ideas of all sorts of items from hair products to machines that make shoes. Trumpets playing to a synchronized beat crowds forming just to hear. J is for jazz and jazz musician. There's a new song in the air. Lighting candles, telling stories, reciting an inspirational quote. K is for Kwanzaa, a celebration of unity and hope. L is for Little Rock Nine, the students who integrated schools at Little Rock, Arkansas Central High, protected under military rule. M is for March on Washington, a civil rights demonstration where thousands of people gathered to support equal rights throughout the nation. N is for NAACP and the legal help it provides this important organization has saved countless numbers of lives. 
Outstanding athletes each do their best, inspiring both youth and old. O is for the Olympic medals, the bronze, the silver, the gold. Government leaders make important decisions for people in their cities and states. P is for politics and politicians, the political candidates. Used to cover a bed at night or to keep warm on cold buggy ride. Q is for beautiful quilts stitched together with love and pride. Black pharaohs in Egypt, ancient empires of gold, royal caravans to Timbuktu. R is for African roots and the glories that Africa once knew. Hard work, little food, hearts heavy with sorrow, sold away from family and friends. S is for slavery, a sad part of our past. The Civil War finally brought it to an end. T is for the Tuskegee Airmen flying their planes through the clouds. These pilots were heroes in World War II and won many distinguished awards. Education, careers, achievements, and goals. A strong sense of heritage and pride. U is for universities and the opportunities that they provide. Cast your ballots in the box. Let your voice be heard. V is for the right to vote and make a difference in the world. Storytellers, historians, and poets writing words that are beautiful and wise. W is for the writers and the winners of the Pulitzer Prize. A voice in the struggle of equality, a symbol of power and might. X is for Malcolm X, an activist of civil rights. Y is for York, a mountain man with the Lewis and Clark expedition. His brave explorations opened the way to the new worlds for the next generation. Congregations gathering to sing a hymn, church members joining hand in hand. Z is for Zion and churches of faith along the journey to the promised land. Welcome back. I hope diving deeper into this story brought something out that you didn't know before, or maybe something that you didn't quite have an understanding about. I hope this story helps clarify, and if it didn't, you can always dive a little bit deeper with those excerpts, or you can do your own research. Those excerpts in the story can also be found on our Read Aloud to Mr. Jason's Instagram page. So check them out. Thank you for reading with us today. I can't wait to read again with you soon. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment a black history book that you would like for us to read in our Read Aloud throughout the month. Also. Share, 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 because sharing is caring. <laughs> oh, one more thing. We're almost to our 200th subscriber. That's right, 200. It came so fast. And I say thank you to each and every one of you guys who subscribed. Even if you don't subscribe, thank you for watching. Once we get to our 200th subscriber, I have the first five books that we've read in our channel that I'm going to give away. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you have your subscriptions hidden, make sure you unhide them. That way you can be counted in the drawing as well. Thank you so much for, for joining me for another Read Aloud. I had a blast as always. I can't wait to read again with you soon. And don't forget, keep reading.